The Rapid Access Addiction Medicine Clinic is a, a clinic for individuals who have alcohol or opioid uh, dependencies to come and receive timely access to addiction services. The RAM Clinic gives people a place to go where they can be honest with like-minded people, people that have been where they are. They can open up about what they're going through, which opens them up to receiving help as well. Since I started with RAM, my life has improved, like, massively. They really have helped me a lot. I put on, like, 20 pounds, and I got a smile back on my face, and I'm doing well. It's about giving hope. I love this place. <laughs> If it wasn't for Norwest, I don't know where I'd be right now. We have elevated rates of substance use challenges compared to the rest of the province, particularly around opioids and alcohol. When it comes to opioids, we have, have the highest rate of overdose deaths per capita in all of Ontario. Often what we were hearing from folks in the community is that when they're ready, um, the doors aren't open for them. There has been a huge need in terms of uh, the number of overdoses that we see in the community in terms of people being able to access service. In the geographical area that we're in, we have um, a real lack of resources, particularly east of us. So there were a number of agencies that were, had been, we had been talking about the need for uh, rapid access to addiction medicine in this neck of the woods for a very long time. The RAM model is an attempt and a successful attempt to um, provide better addiction care, overall addiction care, um, you know, and integrate the services into the community to have better flow through. I think one of the reasons it came together so quickly really was the partnerships. We don't get caught up on the who or the who's leading it or where does the money flow. We're much more caught up in terms of how's this going to work and how can we make it work really quickly and accessibly. We really engaged with a lot of our community partners and the Thunder Bay Regional Hospital has been a good example. Historically, there hasn't been a lot of places where we can say, you know, if you're looking for help and you're seeking help, this is where you need to go and get connected. So offering that support and offering that opportunity is really valuable. You can imagine in a busy emerge that talking with someone about addiction issues, talking about lifestyle choices, it's not the place. And primary care clinics are not set up to do that either. People can walk in, they can self-refer. We have multiple points of entry. Two days a week they're at uh, Norwest Community Health yeah. Centre. Two days a week they operate out of this site at Belmore Centre. So we're meeting people wherever they're at, designing a care plan that's aligned with their personal goals, not aligned with the goals of a program. And just that one day, I walked by here several times. It just, it just like I had a calling come in and I, like I said I came upstairs and from that day they've been here you can call them 24 7 and someone will get a hold of you. While there are booked appointments and there's a, you know follow-up uh, it also was about when you came and when you uh, came to the clinic that you would be provided with service that day and you wouldn't be turned away. Being able to say we have counseling today that you can see you know, um, there are medications that can help to support you with your substance use. It's giving that person hope. I think it's really easy for somebody to enter a system that way and then they can move on at their own pace. Just as soon as you walk through those, that yeah, front door, you could feel that you, you're wanted here. They do want to help you. We are the right door. You are going to see somebody today. The fact that they don't judge, they accept you for who you are and they do anything they can to help you. They actually have the time to sit and talk to you. What RAM does is it wraps around other allied professionals and other allied supports. What's different about this one is that it's across multiple agencies. Rich cultural services are what Delico is known for in Thunder Bay, so I think that is what we bring to RAM. Uh, this is like a, for me as a nurse practitioner, a dream model. Uh, we share, we talk about treatment plans and what the patient's needs are, and that comes first. Because addiction medicine really has been quite siloed in that there's the counseling world and then there's the, you know, the medical world, and those things have never really communicated all that well. Um, and so under the RAM and the CHC model, where we already have counseling, we already have nurses, nurse practitioners, it was just a perfect fit to bring the RAM model in, which is also all about kind of breaking down those silos and getting everyone to work as a team. Team huddles are probably one of the most important things we do. We do at the beginning of the day, everybody goes through their list uh, because they're seeing multiple providers, um, making sure that we know where the patient's going today, who they're going to see, whether it be nursing, counseling, 
uh, or medical. Uh, and then we do it again at the end of the day and talk about how our day went. Team care is, is the way to go. Oh, hey, Christina. Physicians are one component of the team. They offer you know, some services and there are many other services which are needed. We're specifically uh, looking at things like the services. social determinants of health, uh, actually which are you know, major impactors of substance use. Hey. The peer support I'm worker how are you? was the key that unlocked the door to get people in the door for the first time. Some people wouldn't go to RAP if they didn't have the peer support waiting there for them or bringing them in. And they're basically there to let the people know that, hey, I've been there before you, you can get through it, and I'm here to help you, I'll support you through it. I'm going back to school actually to be um, an addictions worker for the youth, trying to help kids All right, thank you. with addictions before they get to the point where I was. I've sent a lot of people here, including my son. And he's better too, he's getting better every time he comes. I think we need more RAM services available across the province, especially in northwestern Ontario. It definitely 24-7, 365 day a year service in both sectors of the city and expanding to the district. So we are hoping that in the future we will be able to expand towards a hub and spoke model, but that we'll be able to share lessons learned uh, with what we've done here at the, at the clinic with some of our partners in our north uh, to support them with individuals who are um, needing those services in their communities. I've been through a lot since I was a little girl, so it, and it's time for me to, to be able to stand up and let that all go and let that all fall off me and carry on. and well-being.